Make it so. Uh, okay, I'm just holding this. Oh. I'm holding it with my knee, so. That'd be a little too much. Right there. Good. Just a little bit over. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay. You ready? You just want the nuts falling off. Pick it up, grab the edge, pick it straight up, grab this stuff right there. Okay, so wood stove's in. Robert did a really nice job building that little hearth. And uh, this will work well for us. We've got that heat shield back there, just made out of a piece of pro panel roofing material or barn siding, whatever you call it. There's some space in between it and the cement backer board back there. So you get an air space in there, or a, a heat shield space. And uh, uh, we're expecting snow and cold temperatures here in about two, three days. On Tuesday. And what is today? This is Saturday. Today's Saturday. So on Tuesday, four days, five, three days? This is three days. Three days. So we'll be looking forward to lighting this off for the first time. It's a brand new stove. We've got a good deal on it. I don't know if I want to, I was thinking, I don't know if I want to have a fire because it's going to be 50 and that's not very cold. It'll be 20 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to have to light it off sometime. But uh, one thing's for sure, we didn't, we didn't fire this before we brought it in. So, so when we fire this off the first time, I'm sure a whole bunch of smoke from paint and oils and the metal and stuff like that are going to come off of this thing. But anyway, we got a really good deal on this. It's an Amish, uh, local Amish business here that had this sitting on their shelf for years. It's brand new, but it was just sitting there collecting dust because he never sold it. And uh, he says he was getting out of the stove business. So he sold this to, to us for $50 over his cost, which is really nice. We, we enjoy doing business with the Amish. Uh, so far, we've had a really good experience with them. But this stove is also Amish made, I think, by a fellow in Idaho. Anyway, uh, there it is. We'll let you know how it goes. Okay. That'll do it. How about some paper or something? Cardboard, paper, anything? Does it say leave the door open when you start it? Remove all loose items, arrange dry kindling loosely on the grate, and several large pieces of wood above that. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's enough space between the wood to allow the flames to freely burn. Yes. Turn the draft dial to start. Hope this is how it works. Okay, so each of is starting up our wood stove for the first time. Let's see if we can get some fire going in here. 
We have fire going. Huh. <laughs> we need some little kindling pieces. We have some underneath there. Oh, we finally got the little kindling pieces going. Some wood in here. We don't have any smoke right now coming out of the stove pipe. This stove is going to stink up this whole house. First fire, all the oils and paint and stuff on this stove is going to let fly. It's going to probably smoke up this whole house. I'm going to have to open all the windows. It's really smoky. It's starting to get hot and it's popping and... They told us that if we keep the the logs four inches away from the glass door, it won't uh, it won't smudge smudge up the door and get it all black and sooty. Yeah, it won't sit it up. As you can see, the tar burning on that. Look at that. Tar. Yeah, on the side right there. See that stuff? That's a pitch. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I call it. Or pine tar, pine sap. Well, so far I don't see any smoke coming out of anything. No, the only smoke should be coming out out of the chimney. <laughs> Maybe we should go see if there's smoke coming out of the chimney. Should we? Oh yeah, there's smoke coming out. It's warm over here. Yeah, I told you it's gonna it's gonna get hot in here. That thing's gonna that radiate. That's on sixty six. We need to watch the temperature. Oh, what is it now? Yeah, I have a feeling we are going to get uh, wood stoves out of here. It's gonna get really hot. Is that too much wood in there? <sighs> no. Burn fast. Yeah. But they say you can pack these things and just, you know, leave them overnight. 